It's uh, currently negative three, I believe. We are, um, we're out here. It's February 20th today. And uh, we're gonna go do some shed hunting, folks. Deep snow hiking today. Hopefully we can find some less deep areas and use those to move around, but I'm down for it. Got some trails here, fresh tracks here. So I'm gonna move forward up here to this wood line. I'm hoping at the wood line, the snow won't be as deep. I can move around a little easier. Tell you one thing, I'm glad I uh, dressed in layers. I was thinking about it. Like six deer right there. Looks like a bunch of does. That'd be a good place to start. That's right where I was heading. Call that a uh, optimistic start, I guess. And then I think I'm gonna shed my jacket before I start getting warm. I also got on my back here my snowmobile pants, just in case I start getting cold as well as a change of sweatpants. Two more pairs of socks. We got a water bottle full of coffee right here because I couldn't bring my mug. We should be good, folks. I have never done anything like this. My goal unofficially is eight to 10 miles today. I've never even walked 10 miles in my whole life. So just doing that alone would be a victory. Oh yeah, there's a lot of deer up there. I can see them. What is going on, guys? Good morning, and welcome back to another water hopping episode. Today, there ain't no damn water. There ain't no water anywhere right now, except for maybe waterfalls, and those might even be frozen. We're here in uh, Northern Illinois, late February. For those of you who uh, watch my channel somewhat regularly, you probably know what a shed antler is, but in case you guys don't know, or you've just never heard about it before, a shed antler is exactly what I said. Deer around late February, March, depending on where you're at, shed their antlers each year. Some people, you know, just because they don't know, they think deer have their antlers all year around, but they don't. Should've put this in the backpack. Mm. Probably only got 15 minutes before that cough, that warmish coffee becomes coldish coffee. Definitely a heavy trafficked area. Good of a place as any to start looking. Right there is up into where I saw those deer, about 150 yards ahead. We're slowly making our way that direction. You can only walk so, so quiet on this. Day. The bed right there. A couple of beds underneath that. Tipped over pine. Lots of tracks here. All around me. Turkey tracks here. Pretty neat. Dragging a spur. If you guys watched any of my late season hunting, you'll remember this area, this sign. We were in here one of the last hunts of the season that we did. Uh, it was like January 4th this year. And walking down this path and there was a uh, couple walking straight through the middle of the public land just right on down the middle happy-go-lucky talking loud like I am now chatting let's see if I can walk over here a little bit if it's not too too deep Foot traffic here. A 
back at the back of that field. That's where we, um, that's where we saw that nice velvet buck last summer in uh, early July. We saw him coming up through that field. And then we put a trail camera there that day. Then we came back three weeks later. So we wanted to see if we had gotten any pictures in uh, mid-August. And he was in that same field and ran right past my camera. Unfortunately, I, I don't know why, but the camera SD card was full because I guess I do know why. It was taking so many pictures. It's the Tasco $28 camera from Walmart. I've got three of them now. And it was taking so many pictures of all the swaying grass that it filled up the SD card in like a month with just garbage. So that was a bummer. But I still did get some pictures of some bucks. Sometimes winter sucks, but you can make winter awesome too. All times of year can be cool. Super cold can be cool, because you can go out and do challenging things mentally and physically, like hike. Cold can be cool, because you can go ice fishing and know you're completely safe, because you're standing on a 10 inch slab of basically concrete that could support a truck. When I went out two weeks ago, ice fishing for the second time, the ice had gotten to like nine inches thick in some areas, and I'm sure it's kept on trending. Spot one is a no-go so far, but we'll see if we find any on the way out. Pay a little bit more attention and uh, head south, southwest, and that'll kind of take us on a 45 back to the truck, and we'll just see a little bit different stuff, but we'll definitely be breaking trail on that. That's for sure, but I'm looking forward to it. Like David Goggins says, stay hard. That dude's a machine, if you guys know who he is. If you don't know who he is, look him up. Very inspirational person. You gotta hear his story. I just finished his book, Can't Hurt Me. Awesome, awesome book. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is turning into some, some for real shit. <sighs> Damn happy I'm not out here in like a big ass bulky jacket. Damn happy. Go where there's field edges and pinch points, maybe some low hanging branches where they're tucking into the brush. Once we get over there, I'll just tuck into the woods a little bit and we'll just walk around some of these trails for a bit. See if we can find one. And then we'll hop in the truck, go to spot number two. See that guy, as soon as I'm back into this area, tracks everywhere. You know what I mean? I feel like I should just meander around in here a little bit. See if we can find something. That's pee from this morning. Those deer are still close. Probably only a couple hundred yards that way. There's a bed. Gotta be some sheds around. I mean, I'm a realist though, you know. There's some more beds. Another bed. More droppings. We're in the Mecca right now. Lots of, this has to be just where the deer are living late season. I will definitely remember this for my, for my January hunts. You can't do this, you know, during the season without fucking things up. Some people believe you shouldn't even be in here now. The one reason I can say I'm cool with walking around in here this time of year is because this area that I'm at gets a ton of public pressure. Not hunters, but just the general public walking around. These deer are very used to seeing lots of people all year long and they're just used to it, you know? All 
alrighty. Not really a parking spot. It'll do. No backpack this time. Not exactly a parking spot, but I don't think anyone will have any problem with it. Alright, let's go get this camera. Bingo. On the way in, I did some meandering, tucked into a few trails that I saw. No sheds, guys. I don't know if some of this snow needs to melt. I mean, common sense tells you that. Some of this snow probably does need to melt. But my thinking is also that most of these deer probably didn't start shedding their antlers until pretty recently. If that's the case, then there's a chance that their antlers will be sitting on top of the snow. Or at least that was my thinking. Main reason I came out here today was I just needed a good dose of the great outdoors. I can't get enough of it. This is where I feel alive. This is what I'm meant to be doing, you know? I just don't know, I just don't know what the path is yet. The biggest, the biggest thing though is realizing that it's what I'm meant to be doing. I'm meant to be out here pushing myself, walking. By the way, we did four and a half at the first spot. And by the time we get out of here, we'll do like 1.3. So almost six miles through some pretty deep stuff at points. We broke trail for probably a mile walking through a foot of snow. So as the crow flies, we did just under six miles, but it feels more like eight or nine. Main goal today was find a shed, find my camera. We found the camera. We're gonna take it home now and see if it got any pictures. If it did get any cool pictures, I'll flash them up at the end of today's video. But just wanna say, I appreciate the support, guys. I hope you guys are doing great, hitting it hard in the beginning of 2021. Got some good lofty goals, monthly, weekly, daily goals, and then yearly goals. I'm finding that's the best way to get shit done. And uh, we're doing it lately. Start thinking about the next adventure, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hit that like button for me, subscribe to the channel. Giveaway is at 500 subscribers, so go ahead and get you some of that. I'll put a card right here for that giveaway way so you can enter it and uh yeah hope you guys enjoyed hit that like button for me subscribe to the channel and as always keep water hopping and i'll see you soon